And welcome back. Well, every good whodunit has some bad guys, some good guys, and a bunch of clues and a red herring or two. But our next guest is noticing some new trends in mysteries. These are trends I've never heard of before. I find them fascinating. Carol Berman's an English professor at Alverno College. She's also an author herself and contributor to the Milwaukee Journal Sentinel today. She's got some mysteries to die for. <laughs> Great to see you, Carol. Nice to see you guys. I couldn't resist that header for uh -huh. this segment. I know, and I great mysteries and you love mysteries I do um, and some of the trends are fascinating to me um, that you're really seeing lately and some of the mysteries that you've reviewed and some that are sent to you and I know you get these daily these I books. get I probably get four or five um, brand new mysteries sent to me um, every day um, I am um, I know my um, my delivery guys really well because they get their muscles <laughs> you know, really get a workout delivering books to me. And so I, I've, I, I try to watch the very first one. And this one, I think, is related to the Gone Girl phenomenon. Yeah. Okay. Um, and Girl on a Train and some of those kinds of books. I'm tired of the girl titles, yeah. though. Yeah. <laughs> Enough of those. Yeah. Anyway, and that is a narrator that you can't trust. Oh, hmm. so tricking you. Tricking you. So you're involved in this character, and you're reading all about this character, and then all of a sudden, in the middle of the book, or at the end of the book, you realize, wait a minute, this person's been lying to me. <laughs> I love those kind of books. You and do. I really do, because they put you on your toes as a reader, and I like that. I like okay. to feel like I'm in the book. And... Um, so, and, and I'm a little bit cynical myself, so yeah. I like those kinds. I like the that. The setting is another trend. Yes, so there's another trend that I've noticed where it's a small town and a mystery in that small town or a suburb, mm -hmm. lots of suburban kinds of mysteries. And Do you find that the author usually has lived in those small towns or do they really just sometimes, make it up? Sometimes, sometimes they make up sort of, you know maybe like for example, you know it's in Minnesota, but it's not really a, a town in Minnesota, gotcha. but you'd kind of recognize it if you lived in Minnesota, right. that kind of thing, mm -hmm. okay. which and, I think and is some good. some sexy loners. Sexy loners, that's the other one, that's one of my favorites too. Um, think about like the Jack Reacher novels or some of the, or like a kind of a domesticated, um, you know, sort of uh, uh, Western hero who comes, rides into town and uh -huh. changes the world or fixes something that's wrong. It can be a guy, it can be a girl, it could be a woman, a man, whatever. But it's self-contained and there's something bad in the town, in, in the world and he's going to fix it. Okay. And, you know, you wouldn't kick him out of your bed. Uh-huh. The right. last trend that you've seen is the World War II English mysteries with young female. All over the place. Right? I think I got three alone like a few days ago. It really is interesting. And okay. um, so what I've done is I've tried to pick one from each of those categories today. All right. So, mm -hmm. okay. Um, okay, let's start with Journey to Munich by Jacqueline Winspear. This is one that's one of the World War II books. Um, and her main character is um, the intrepid Maisie Dobbs. And she is a some on again, off again spy. There's 12 books in this series. And if you haven't read any of them and you really like sort of a, a more cozy, mm -hmm. um, it, uh, smart, historical mystery, fast paced, this is a great series. Okay. And, um, this, the one I'm recommending, she um, gets herself undercover with Nazis. And it's fabulous. Okay. The next one, Burning Bright by Nick Petrie. The local guy. Yeah, I yes. recognize that yes, name. I've, uh, yes, um, and this is his second novel, and um, it is great. Now, you know me, I don't, I'm not much of a nature person, but mm -hmm. this one is set out in the wilds of um, Washington State and Northern California. The opening chase scene in this is like nothing you have ever seen. That's set so in, weird, because I, I was in picture, like reading a chase scene would be I know, weird. like it'd have to be in a movie. Yeah. Oh like no, you, to... this scene is a, it's set in the Redwoods, and think, remember this, this opening, one of the scenes in Crouching Tiger, Hidden Dragons, where they're, I don't want to give too much away, where they're in the tops of the trees? Oh yeah. This is in this book, and you are not going to want to put it down. This okay. is an amazing book, and this is one of the sexy loner, solves a problem, hel helps somebody out. All right. Story. I like that. I like Great it. book and a, a, a really nice guy from from Milwaukee. Yeah, I like that. What about everything you want me to be? This one is the narrator you can't trust, but it's also mm -hmm. set in a small town in Minnesota Lovely. that you might recognize. Oh, it's a real town? Uh, yes, it is. Can you and, say it? Um, I, can, I don't, it's like one of the little small towns like out in the northern suburbs by um, Coon Rapids? A little further north than that. Mm. 
Yeah. Blaine? I think it might be <laughs> one of those. Anyway, we could keep, list, keep listing them. I, I don't know what it is, but it, it, my, somebody else who read it from Minnesota said, oh, I know that place. Oh, yeah. that's awesome. So they call I it think, like the ABC's Anoka, yes. Blaine, Coon Rapids, so maybe it's one of those. I think it might be that first <laughs> one. <Anoka>. Yes. <laughs> Halloween but, capital of the world. Really? Mm -hmm. Well, anyway, this one is a fabulous <laughs> mystery. Pardon us getting off on a tangent there. Um, and the, you cannot trust not just the narrator, who gets murdered in the beginning of the book, but we flash back to why she might have been okay. murdered. Um, I think this would be a really, really cool book for young adults, and but even a really good book club book. It's a very traditional mystery in the sense that um, you get a set of characters and you have to figure out really who did it and why. Okay. Um, it is, but it's really great. I loved it. And she's a Minnesota native, lives in the Twin Cities. Love it. But Last one, I See You by Claire McIntosh. This is another one of the books that kind of overlaps two of my categories. Um, you can't trust the narrator. Huge twist. Takes place in kind of a small um, neighborhood. Also a great book. Um, that's another trend that we didn't really mention. A lot of younger women now writing these mysteries. And I applaud them. I think it's awesome. It's great. That's fantastic. Yeah. Yeah. People I love that. You can find these and more on your website and you the reviews can. that you do. So just visit our website. It's barrelmanbooks.com. You can find her on Facebook, Twitter, and Goodread as well. Love it. Thanks, Thank Carol. you, Carol. You're welcome. Great to Thanks see you. for having me. <laughs>